Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. It's building time today. We're going to build the Lego Friends Heart Lake City Aeroplane Tour. Now, this has been released in addition to the go-kart sets, which is really, it's a cool addition. It's got nothing to do with the go-karts, but it definitely ties in with the theme if you use a bit of imagination. So let's have a look at who we get with this. It's Olivia. Okay, I know it's Olivia because I recognize the color scheme. This is her racing outfit, which ta-da actually goes well with flying as well and it comes with her hairpiece but she's going to need to change that out for when she's actually flying and she gets the coolest little old-fashioned flying helmet and goggles look at this except the goggles are the ones that are made for the minifigures and they don't quite sit over her eyes properly but it's so cute it's so vintage and she is actually joined by rumble her hamster i don't know what good rumble's going to be but rumble is going to go with her these are rumble's goggles <laughs> they're enormous they're going to help when they're flying up in the air so that the bugs don't fly directly into their eyes and olivia and rumble are joined by zobo who we have to build zobo has to do all the hard work down on the ground while rumble and olivia fly around and poor zobo stays grounded so, so he's going to look after the air control traffic uh and and do all of the menial labor <laughs> I want a robot to do all of my menial labor jobs, like the washing and the folding. Oh my goodness. Olivia, can you build me a Zobo, please? That would be epic. Oh my gosh, I'm really excited by that idea. <laughs> Never gonna happen, but I'm really excited. And Rumble is also very excited to see Zobo build, and we're gonna put Rumble back on the ground. And we're going to start with the first part of the build, which is a table, because you need a table when you're building an airplane, right? Hmm. And we need a soda can. We're going to need drinks and snacks. So we've got the energy to get up into the air. So snacks looks like we have got a salami and lettuce sandwich. I'm going. Might be, could just be tomato sauce and lettuce sandwich. It's always up to you what you interpret the red thing to be. But I always think that the green thing is lettuce. We can sit down, have a snack. Oh, and Zobo. Poor Zobo doesn't even fit on the chair. Oh, Zobo. Oh. <laughs> and rumbles on the sandwich so there's going to be hair in that sandwich thank you that's a better place for rumble okay this does not look like a plane so let me see what we are building first oh pretty flower and the big roundy bit here has got our first sticker and on the sticker we have got the flag emblems that we're seeing through the go-kart ones. Lots of pictures of Olivia, third place medals, second place medals, the news. There's a padlock on there. So that might be, might be the notice board or just where she keeps all of her flying memorabilia. This is new, you know. I did not know that Olivia liked flying because in the past, oh, there's a little hamster treat. Oh, very cute. This must be for Rumble. In the past, there was a flying club set and it was Stephanie who was doing the flying. Olivia didn't do any flying. So, well, looks like Olivia is now doing the flying. It looks like Rumble now has got a water dispenser and a little snack treat here that can go on our jumper studs. There's a spot for the pet and the pet yummies. Perfect. All right. I still don't know quite what we're building, but it definitely looks like a building. We're building a building and there's a hook out the front and the next sticker has got a hanging area for her flying jacket and her goggles and her trophies. Look at that one, it looks like a portable fan. <laughs> a trophy fan. And there's a picture of Zobo in the background. It looks like only Olivia uses this. It's, it's a flying club, so it's not her personal area looks like it might be with all of her stuff just lying around everywhere but it's a flying club that's really really cool wow okay uh i reckon that that might be the control tower and of course to get down from a control tower well of course you need a slide i mean why would you have stairs stairs are so humdrum and boring when you can have slides stairs are so 2017 don't you think <laughs> well they are in lego france actually i haven't seen a lot of stairs in 2017 except in stephanie's house so eh. <laughs> Stairs still have their place. Come on, people. Up here we have got... Oh, well, actually, we just used a ladder. So obviously ladders are still in to get up here to the control tower. And we've got a sticky note and a coffee mug. And we've got a remote control up there or a radio to be able to 
maybe to communicate with the plane, that sounds sensible. Here's a control panel-y type thing with a big lever and a big green go button. It looks very official. Oh, and we're going to enjoy touching all those buttons and all those levers. And maybe if we like push the lever forward, the aeroplane will go up. No, I don't think that works. We've got one of those sticky outy type windows that you definitely always have in control towers. Why do you have that shape window in the towers? There must be some logical reason. If you know, tell me, because I know nothing about planes and flying and how all the logistics of it works, so I'm always eager to learn. This part's going to be the lid or the roof of the control tower, and we've got upside down. We've got, looks like the path, looks like the uh, plane path thing, and this up here is going to spin around and do some sort of, oh, I don't know, some sort of radio-y, transmitter-y type things up into the air. Okay. I think that's all the official stuff done. Now we get to build oh, a teeny tiny plane. Oh, it's adorable. She's not going to fit in that. Oh, that's just for decoration on the front. Oh, this is so cute. Okay, bag number two. We are doing really well with the aeroplane tour. We have got the flying club ready to go. Now this still does not look anything like a plane. So, oh, this big bendy bit's going to be for fuel. I know it's going to be fuel. This is going to be oil. We can use that on Zobo. Do not drink it. And this here is a windsock. Oh, so we know which direction the wind's going in. And if the windsock is wet, we know it's raining. <laughs> oh, we could just look out the window. Rumble's now got himself a little basket. I don't think that's for you. I think that's going to be for the tools. Let's put all these tools up here. This is a great way to store them. Love this. This is where she obviously works on the airplane. And the oil can hooks on the outside of the basket. I love that. I never knew we could do that. Ha! So cool! All right. Now we've got a way to work on the plane. Finally, we get to start building the actual plane, which is starting off looking rather like a boat. But trust me, it's going to end up being a plane. I know, because I saw it on the front of the box. <laughs> uh, but it's still looking like a boat. So let's keep building a bit, shall we? Now, we've definitely got something here that makes it look nothing like a boat. We have got wings that are going over the entire structure of the body. We have attached them on nicely. Let's see what else we're going to do. This is the front. I can see a hole there for where the propeller's going to go. And we need somewhere for Olivia to actually travel or fly in the plane. This looks perfect. Cute! That's really cutie. And we've got some more little hooks there. Some more hooks hanging off the side as well. Maybe that's for Rumble to hold on for dear life while it's flying up in the air. Maybe we could hook Zobo into those hooks. We've got a control panel and we've got, oh, cool steering wheel. <laughs> I've never seen one of these in a friend's set before. That's cool. Oh, and the hooks aren't for Rumble or for Zobo. They are for our, our communication devices and a spare spanner. If you have to use one of those when you're up in the air, you're in a great deal of trouble, I think. We're up to bag number three, and we are continuing on with our plane. We're getting a little back -tail -y kind of thing by the looks of it. And it's so cute because it's all in Olivia's colours in the pink and the blue, which is nice. I like having more of these blue colors, especially. Oh, this is definitely gonna be the tail. Here we go, we'll build it up into a perfect tri a perfect trial, a per perfect tail triangle, a trail triangle. And it's got some heart emblems on the side. <laughs> That's too cutesy. Oh, this is cool. Look, this is advertising the go-kart races. And on the other side, it's got a welcome to Heart Lake City sign. So she's like, oh, not a sign writer, like not a plain sign writer. She's an advertising plane. This must be how she makes some extra cash. This must be her part-time job. She can go up, fly around in the air. Everyone can see the sign. That's a cool way to advertise. I wonder if she can also do the smoke trails, whatever you call them, that advertises with, you can write a big sign in the air. Like, hello! <laughs> or maybe something a little bit more creative than that. <laughs> now this, this is creative. This is super duper cool. The fact that this plane is actually a biplane. So an old fashioned type plane, 
very, very, very cool. This is going to be really fun to add to my plane collection. Oh, so cute. So this is the bi part of it, the second wing, because bi means two. And this is going to go on top of the first wing, logically. And that is absolutely fantastic. There's a spot there for, for, for Rumble to go. Let's put some wheels on and then we'll be able to fly this baby. See how it goes. Oh, nice. Actually, we won't because we need a propeller. We're not going to get this up in the air without actual, yeah, without an actual propeller. That looks good. Let's make sure it's just loose enough so that it spins beautifully. That's really good. Now, when we just put the little nose bit in, oh, hold on, I pushed that in too far now. We just need that little bit of space, not too much so it gets too wonky, but just enough so that it spins freely. That looks really perfect. Now we're going to be able to get this aeroplane up in the air, this biplane. Whoop. That's so cool. That is really cool. There we go. It's up in the air. Come back down. Oh, hold on. We just almost landed on that propeller. That's a quick way to land. We've also got some of those little paddles, which tell you you can stop and go, I suppose, the signaling paddles. So stop, stop. Now we can go because Zobo said. I don't know if Zobo checked anything, but definitely stop now. We've also got some little witches hats, some traffic cones. We call them witches hats here in Australia. I don't know why. Do you call them witches hats in your country? But this is so we can put this around the plane when it's grounded. Oh, hold on. You did not pay any attention to that, Olivia. <laughs> you just took off when the witches hats were there. Right. She's fueling it up. There is absolutely nowhere to stick this fuel hose on. So fuel's going to gush everywhere. And is that even where you put the fuel? I don't know. She's coming down from the control tower. She's put her helmet on. She's got her goggles on. Oh, the teeny tiny plane is the perfect size for Rumble. We can use that as a glider. Let's go. We're ready and go Rumble. Oh, that's so cool. Rumble's flying by himself and doing twisty, turny loop-de-loops in the air and coming back and running straight into Olivia. Okay, Goggle obviously needs a little more flying practice, so possibly don't send him out on his own yet. We'll put the plane back and let's go and climb into the new biplane. Goggle's down, Rumble on, Rumble. That is not a safe spot. You can sit behind Olivia, much better. Zobo, can we go yet? Zobo's trying to get that propeller going. I'll do that. If you take away the traffic cones... Okay, can we go? We can go! Let's lift off! Let's take off! Oh no, hold on, we're doing a bit of a longer runway. Ah, oh, there we are! Go! It's up in the air! Whee! That's so, so cool! Oh, this is a great job. This would be a really good way to earn some extra pocket money and do some loop the loops. Just lucky that sign didn't get tied in a knot. Oh, this is awesome! Hold on, we appear to have lost Rumble. Where's Rumble? Oh, Rumble didn't fall out. Rumble went to get his own plane. It's time to come in. Loop de loop for Rumble. In comes Olivia and the plane is done. So make sure you subscribe. Make sure you click the little notification bell. Leave me a comment. Tell me if this is the sort of set that you are going to pick up, maybe for Christmas. Speaking of Christmas, don't forget that I have got some merch available. So you might want to get somebody to buy it for you in time for Christmas. And I'll see you with a new video very, very soon. Have I said Christmas too many times? I think I have. Bye.